Hello dear friends, this problem is much more common than it seems, but hardly anyone talks about it. It is also repetitive music for those who constantly repeat that not today but tomorrow it will be charged, but that's a different topic. Opinion piece. Repetitive music. Catchy tune. Earworm. That song that repeats itself. 90% of people suffer from it. Stuck song syndrome. Parasitic artificial intelligence. Relationship with electronic devices. They use your favorite music to punish you. Thousands of cool patents deleted. Charlie Watt predicts financial restart in July. Let's start. Many people are complaining that they are getting music that keeps repeating in their brains without being able to control it. This may be a psychological or psychiatric explanation, but there is something very strange about it. It's like a parasitic artificial intelligence trying to turn the human brain into an iPod or MP3 player without control. They seem to guess your musical tastes in order to punish you. In Arthur C. Clarke's 1957 science fiction short story, The Ultimate Melody, a scientist Gilbert Lister develops the ultimate melody, one that so compels the brain that its listener is completely captivated by it forever. It was a great mel melody that left its impression on the mind because it matched the fundamental electric rhythms taking place in the brains and completely dominated it. He su succeeds and finds himself in a catatonic state from which he never awakens. Definition An earworm, sometimes referred to as a brainworm, sticky music, stuck song syndrome, or involuntary mu musical imaginary, imagery. It is, is a catchy piece of music that occupies a person's mind continuously even after it is no longer played or talked about. Auditory worms are considered a common type of involuntary cognition. Some of the phrases used to describe auditory worms include repetition of involuntary musical imaginary. That song, we can't get out of our heads, has a scientific explanation. There are certain musical characteristics that make songs more likely to become earworms, such as if the piece is repetitive, if there is a longer duration of certain notes, if the intervals between notes are shorter. In addition, songs that trigger some kind of emotional charge, whether consciously or not, or songs associated with a particular memory can often be the ones that stick in the head. Researcher Vicky Williamson of Goldsmiths University of London found that earworms are linked to exposure to music, but could also be triggered by experiences that trigger the memory of a song, such as singing a word, hearing a few notes on this, of the song, or feeling an emotion that one associates with the song. According to research by James Kelleris, 98 of people experience earworms. Women and men experience the phenomenon with the same frequency, but earworms tend to last longer in women and irritate them more. Kelleris produced statistics suggesting that songs with lyrics may account for 70.7% of earworms, while instrumental music may cause only 7.7%. Psychiatrists at Harvard University say this is annoying for the one 
in the three who experience it. It is known as earworm and comes from the German Orwurm, meaning musical itch. It was coined in 1979 by psychiatrist Cornelius Eckert and basically it is a looped segment of music that usually lasts about 20 seconds and automatically enters consciousness and keeps playing on repeat. Remedies To get rid of an earworm, one can try distraction engaging in something else that will require the use of some of these brain regions, circuits and functions, so that it is literally taking them into another direction. Others advocate more of a mindfulness approach. Just let it unfold and try not to focus too much on it. And then some recommend playing real music, because then you can replace what's stuck in your head with something else. Scientists at Western Washington University found that engaging the working memory in moderately difficult tasks such as doing a crossword puzzle or reading a novel would be an effective way to stop earworms and reduce their recurrence. Another publication notes that melodic music has a tendency to demonstrate a repetitive rhythm that can lead to endless repetition unless a climax is achieved to break the cycle. The University of Reading showed that chewing gum could help by similarly blowing, blocking the subpocal rehearsal component of auditory short-term memory associated with auditory generation and manipulation and musical imagine, imagery. It has also been suggested to ask oneself why one is listening to this particular song. Another remedy is to try to find a healing song to stop the repetition of the music. There are also so-called healing tunes to get the worm out of one's head. Happy birthday was a popular choice in healing songs. Individual songs may become less likely to cause an earworm as their emotional effect fades from excessive repetition. Reiteration. The human brain likes simple, repetitive songs, and today's music is increasingly repetitive and predictable. The problem is when you can't control your taste in music and it tries to control you. That guitar has stopped, but it keeps playing in your brain, which repeats it uncontrollably, and there is no copyright or musicians' union to protect you against that. That a little tune is tormenting you day and night, before and after you are asleep if you can. It follows you, where you wherever you go, whatever you say and whatever you do. I believe this problem is related to exposure to electronic devices, but there are there may be other explanations. Electronics obstruct your frequency. There may even be a mismatch between you and the electronic frequency of something. Also, many things are designed to create static, so that you always remain in the same vibratory field that makes people safe, harmless, inactive and productive livestock. In addition, there are entities that feed on the human emotional body and attempt to manipulate it. The planet is hit for a major confrontation with certain entities. Fear is what the other team wants you to feel. In addition, adults and children are commonly exposed to loud music, listening to loud music through headphones connected to, device, to devices such as iPods or MP3 players, or at music concerts can cause hearing loss or hearing impairment. Controllers have not wanted humans to understand that their feelings and emotions are like a crop, 
like wheat that can be harvested. If you are in charge of your own harvest, others will not be able to take advantage of you and use your unless so you decree. When you operate with the same frequency and sovereignty, those who want to control you lose their interest in you. The ultimate tyranny in society is not controlled by martial law. It is controlled through the psychological manipulation of consciousness, whereby reality is defined in such a way that those living within it do not realize that they are living in a prison. Patents. Since 1951, more than 5,000 patents have been suppressed and hidden because they were considered a threat to national security if they fell into the wrong hands. There were machinal inventions and will never be granted patents so that they can be launched on the market. There will be a whole underground economy based on barter whereby people will trade some inventions with each other. Secret military technology is more than 30 years ahead. Imagine what technology will exist in 30 years, and they can travel in time. There will be technologies that can neutralize much of the frequency control. They can change the quality of air and water, and they can seal off your house so that nothing can bomb you. There are technologies that do extraordinary things. Technology has been used against you, not for you. The following is an excerpt from patent US 6506148, B2, in quotes. Physiological events have been observed in a human subject in response to a simulation of the skin with wake electronic electromagnetic fields emitting certain frequencies near half an S or 2.4 Earth capable of exciting a sensory resonance. Many computer monitors and television screens when displaying pulsed images emit pulsed electromagnetic fields of sufficient amplitude to cause such excitation. It is therefore possible to manipulate the subject's nervous system by emitting images displayed on a computer monitor or on a nearby television set. In the latter case, the pulsing of the image can be embibbed in the program content itself or it can be superimposed by modulating the video stream either as a radio frequency signal or as a video signal. The image in the image displayed on a computer monitor can be effectively imprinted with pulses using a simple computer program. In the case of certain monitors, the emitted electromagnetic fields are capable of exciting sensory resonances in nearby subjects and can be generated even while the displayed images are being broadcast with subliminal intensity. Reset news. Scavino says the tide has turned. Juan Osabin says you can't trust your eyes. Charlie Watt predicts the start of the financial restart in July with the dam break breaking in August, but it's just one personal prediction among many. Ghislaine Maxwell predicts the start of the financial uh, excuse me, Ghislaine Maxwell sentenced to 20 years in prison. Geopolitical forces have taken longer than expected and have caused another delay in completing the global financial restart. Chinese elders apologized saying, in quotes, the leadership just need more time. It has always been said that it would all start in Iraq and then the rest of the first bucket of currencies, we are watching the revaluation of the Iraqi dinar. Zimbabwe's central bank introduces gold coins as a store of value. We are all sailing in the economic Titanic through an ocean of debt according to, to Mike Adams. The BRICS continues 
the BRIC countries are establishing a new global reserve currency. The BRIC nation, BRICS nations are home to 45% of the world's population, control 30% of the world's territory, and over the last decade have contributed more than 50% of the world's GDP. G7 sanctions on Russian gold could backfire. A leader's fantasy condemns their citizens to a cold winter, according to Sorchafal. A large number of Ukrainian forces are surrounded by Russian troops in the Donbass. Massive cyber attack. A Russian speaking hacker group known as Killnet claimed responsibility for at least some of the hacks, saying it was in retaliation for Lithuania blocking the shipment of some goods from the Russian enclave of Kaliningrad, which lies between Lithuania and Poland. Such attacks are likely to continue in the coming days, especially against the communications, energy and finance sectors. The European Union would be the first to fall. The Russians and others have cut off gas supplies to Europe because no one wants to accept their unbacked fiat money as payment. Italy and the Slovakia reported receiving less than half the usual volumes of gas from Russia. Fran France has been without gas since 15th June. Poland, Bulgaria, Finland, Denmark and the Netherlands have already suspended deliveries of Russian gas. Germany is also facing a cutoff soon. Prepare for change. No matter how hard you try to avoid reality, it catches up without you in the end. This is the lesson that privately owned Western central banks are now learning, that their fiat money hallucination is crashing into the real world. The widespread collapse or financial markets that we have seen recently is no ordinary market movement, it is the collapse of a system. Curious, a man received a traffic ticket for not having a seat belt on his dog. Five steps to create a Manchurian candidate. At the level five, the trigger that activates the program is inserted. A keyword, a sequence of numbers, or a voice print is recorded in the subject's brain. This is commonly known and referred to as the trigger, that will activate the subject into action. At that point, the subject will also be implanted with a coded tracking device so that their location is always known. Once the programming is complete, the subject is released to a live a very normal and at, at times useful life. The subject will not remember being involved with the intelligence community and will not remember the hypnosis sessions. The sleeper who has been given a completely new identity will not remember his or her previous life and therefore will never question who he or she is. The subject will live a normal life as a doctor, airline pilot, politician, eccentric loner or movie star until the subject is required to perform the mission for which he or she was created. Was time travel used to win World War II? asks Dr. Michael Sala. According to legendary Montauk project whistleblower Al Bialek first discovered time travel technology in 1936 and received help from the future to win World War II. Bialek's surprising information provides an answer to a common question about outside intervention in humankind's affairs. How did Nazi Germany lose their war if they were receiving technological help from the Dracos, asks William Tompkins, Tompkins in his books. He described that time 
travel technology was discovered by accident in 1936. An Atlantean crystal was discovered sub submerged by the Navy drill ship Kearsarge in the Bermuda Triangle area. After disappearing for two months due to the activation of the Atlantean crystal, the Kearsarge returned with his crew intact to share the incredible news that they had traveled to the future. Humankind from the future had given them detailed instructions on how to develop the time travel technology that would be vital to success in the coming world war. And that's all for today. Th thanks a lot, dear friends.